In this video, we will learn how to check our code according to coding conventions. So if you are working on Java, you can check your code with the with a plugin known as Textile. If you remember in the previous videos, we learned how to install a plugin and we installed a plugin find bugs for locating an error. So in this video, we will be installing a plugin for checking our code according to coding convention. So let's do it. Go to help, click on Eclipse Marketplace. Here you can see a new dialog box is visible. Here you can see a new dialog box is visible. We have to type check style here and click on go. So let's do it. Here you can see we have typed check style and after that I will click on go. Here you can see some plugins are visible. Our plugin is check style plugin 6.19.1. So we will click on it. Here you can see you can learn about a description. Also you can click on more info for getting more info. Here you can learn that why it is used. So after going through the description click on install. Here you can see it is installing. Now you can see a new dialog box with the review license. You can review the license and after that if you think it's fine you can click on I accept. After that click on finish. Here you can see it is installing. Now it is asking for restarting the Eclipse for the changes to take effect. So as we installed a new plugin so we need to click on yes. Here you can see our Eclipse has restarted again. So now we will learn how we can use the plugin to check our code according to coding conventions. For that click on your project. We are focusing on the department application project. Right click on it. Here you can see an option is visible check style. Click on it. After that you can see some more options are visible. Like you can activate check style. You can also configure it. You can also deactivate it if you have activated before and you don't want to use it. But right now we need to activate it. So I will click on activate. So as you can see we clicked on activate checklist plugin. After that you can see some changes are visible in the source code editor. You can see some values are visible here. These will be giving us some suggestions to check our code according to coding standard. So let's do it. Double click on it. So here you can see after double clicking it some options are visible. Like the line contains a tab character or you can also go for other options like each variable declaration must be in its own statement. So these are basically comparing your code with the coding standard. So in this video we saw how we can work upon the coding standards by installing a plugin check style.